my name is Michaela and I'm going to talk to you about Smart Things Home. So Smart Things is an app and it is owned by Samsung and we use it to control all of our Samsung devices. For example, our Samsung appliances, your Samsung Smart TV, or even your Samsung Window AC. But other than Samsung devices, you can actually connect with over 5,000 different devices from over 300 brands. If you take a look right over there, you might actually recognize a few of the brands like Arlo Security, Ring Doorbell, Philips Hue, and many, many more. Once you actually download the app, you'll have the full list and even be able to look by device type or even by brand. Once you have all these devices connected onto the app, it kind of works like a hub, but rather than having to buy the hub, you can just download the app itself. Now, if you have a hub already, you can also connect it on there, so you have it all organized under one app, and even arrange them, so for example, like your kitchen devices in one, or your living room devices in another one, and then room one, room two, and so on and so on. Now, other than controlling all of the devices, SmartThings actually offers services as well, like SmartThings cooking, clothing care, energy, air care, pet care, and home care. Now, an example is SmartThings cooking. Say you have a food list of all your items you have in your home, but you're not exactly sure what to do with them. SmartThings cooking will actually have that food list on there and recommend recipes for you, so you don't have to think of what to do for dinner. You can just look up recipes, share some more if you have some of your own, and download some other ones from different communities like vegetarians, vegans, keto, and many, many more. We'll do the shopping for you as well, like we just like push a button and like the, the groceries will show up? It's close, basically, yeah, you can. You can actually, it's linked to Instacart, so oh, you wow. can actually do your grocery shopping on there and set it so that it can automatically order like milk after every week and a half or two weeks. So you don't, have to, you don't have to borrow your you don't have to bother your neighbors for like a cup of sugar or flour anymore. Exactly. You just, that's you can awesome. just order it on there. Exactly. Yeah. Or set it so that it'll order it for you as time goes by. Okay. It's pretty cool. And it'll actually do something similar as well with Smart Things Clothing Care, which is gonna be connected to your washer and with our new bespoke washer and that auto dispense feature. You load up your detergent, and after using it for so long, it'll let you know, hey, you're running low on detergent, it's time to order some more. Using the app, you can actually scan that UPC label, and it'll reorder the detergent for you, and it will be linked to your Amazon account, kind of just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So you can scan the detergent, just like I said, let you know what information it can provide, and let you know, hey, go ahead and order some more. It'll do the same thing as well for your water filter and your Samsung appliance. After a certain amount of time, it'll let you know, it's almost time to order your water filter. Would you like me to do it? You press yes and it's automatic. Now, the newest service we provide with SmartThings is actually SmartThings Energy. With SmartThings Energy, you're actually able to see the overall usage of electricity in your home. So you can say, okay, why is my bill so high this month? You'll actually be able to go into the app and it'll even give you tips and tricks and say, maybe turn up your freezer by one degree and it'll save you this much energy without affecting your food. And, and, and that, that works for anything that is on the um, hub. It, it doesn't necessarily look at things like lights and stuff like that that aren't plugged into it, correct? Well, if you connect it to a smart breaker, you can uh, track the energy usage. You won't have as much detail as you would with the Samsung appliance, but just to at least give you kind of an idea like, oh, this is my office. I kind of want to see overall what that room is using. Uh, I believe there are three different brands that we do uh, are, are partnered with. When you look into the app, you'll find the brands on there. Got so it. you can link them together. It's That's really great. easy. Yeah. It looks like this is a really good way for people that are trying to have the sophistication of automation without necessarily having to like pay for like the, the complete system because like all these things communicate yeah. with each other, they talk to each other. Exactly. It's on the web, so you're not necessarily using all the energy in your house because a lot of these systems, if you want to do all these controls and the way, like you've got the server inside your house, it's yeah. taking up a lot of power. You've got something that's offsite, it's more energy efficient. So exactly. the consumers aren't having to pay for all this automation. Exactly. And one thing we are currently working on with SmartThings Energy is AI Energy Mode, which is going to uh, only set settings to your Samsung appliances. 
So if you have a monthly goal of what you don't want to go over with your energy, you can set that goal and it'll change the settings in your Samsung appliances throughout your home so that you never go over that limit and then notify you the next month, hey, this is how much you saved last month. And um, there's other tips and tricks you can also explore as well. But like I said, it's still in the work in progress. But that's our ultimate goal to do once it's out. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And I want to thank all of the vendors that I've been interviewing at the International Builder Show and also KBiz for providing this amazing information. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And we're going to create more content just like this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more information. Now, if you guys have specific questions on any of these products, once what you do is like leave a comment in the section below and I'll take it back to the manufacturer, ask that question and get response from you and probably create a video response just for that. So appreciate all the people that have subscribed and supported us throughout the years and manufacturers as well. So thanks again and see you guys next time.